Hey everybody, welcome back to Grandma Jane's World here. And today I'm gonna make a little, do a little twist on pumpkin pie. <laughs> My hair's all funky. <laughs> um, I'm going to make pumpkin pudding in little, little individual ceramic containers like this. So um, anyway, you still kind of go, you go by the pumpkin pie, pie recipe, which is um, a can of Libby's 100% pure pumpkin one and a half cups of um, evaporated milk and then I use a half a cup of granulated or white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar it's a little twist on it then some it really makes it flavorful a third teaspoon salt a teaspoon of gray, uh, ground cinnamon a half teaspoon ground ginger a quarter teaspoon ground cloves and two large eggs slightly beaten and then I'll put them in those dishes and then I will bake it at 350 until they're they're done so it's really nice it's like having separate little containers without crust of pumpkin pie so first of all I get the pumpkin in there out of the can I use a 15 ounce can you gotta get it down there where you can see it all right everything out of there good today's kind of a cloudy chewier day in in northern Iowa but we didn't get snow so we lucked out that way use the two slightly beaten eggs and put in our quarter cup of brown sugar quarter cup of white sugar that kind of wiped off there all right, then we've got our teaspoon, just a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon. I've got some salt here to put in, a teaspoon. And then as far as the other ingredients, it calls for um, one half teaspoon of nutmeg. That goes quite a long ways. need some more. So I'm going to put it in my hand and measure it because I'm kind of in a hurry today. Okay, and the cloves is a half teaspoon also. All right, then we'll do the evaporated milk and get it all mixed up in there good. whisk out here and I'm going to just mix it all up. That's the ingredients to a really good pumpkin pie. As I showed you in the pecan pie video, how to make a crust, you can always uh, make a crust like that and put this inside. So it's your choice, but mom's been kind of getting into putting in different things at night before she goes to bed. So I thought it'd be kind of yummy to make her these little custard cups full of pumpkin, pumpkin filling. And uh, they're really good for you too, not bad. Pumpkin's always good. Squash and pumpkin and all that family are pretty good for you. Okay, I put that all incorporated well. And what I did is I um, did spray a little pan inside these to keep them, I don't know, I, I just couldn't remember if they stuck real bad or not, so better be safe than sorry. And I last thing I do put in is a tablespoon of melted butter. I think that's what gives it the glossiness on top. Okay, that's mixed in too. So I think what I'm going to do is grab a little cup here. To, oh, I could do a ladle too, I guess. Maybe I'll do a ladle instead. And put the mixture into there. And I fill it about three-fourths or better full. And 
about two good scoops. I gotta grab a sponge there to kind of mop up my mess. Okay, and I couldn't remember how many uh, dishes of this it would make. I knew it'd probably be four or five, so I've got these all ready to go. And I think it is gonna be about five. Okay, so let's fill up this one. All right. Get the one spilled there. Get the spatula ready here. Clean the bowl. good then I'm gonna put them in to a 350 oven now if I was making a pie I'd put them into a 400 degree oven and then reduce it but I'm just doing these dishes so I'm gonna put them in at 350 and check them in about 20 minutes Oops. And we'll, uh, We'll check it out then. We'll see you back in a bit. Bye. Hey, I'm back with the pumpkin pudding. Look at this. Yummy. And if you want to, it's totally optional. You can, I put it back in the refrigerator. You can put a dollop of Cool Whip on it like this. It took, oh, you got to watch it after uh, 45 minutes or so. It takes a little while, not as long as a pie, but it takes a little while. And it's so yummy. So guess what we're having for dessert tonight? <laughs> Take care. See you again soon in Grandma Jane's world. Love you. Bye.